Hi guys, welcome back. It's Ladwina. Today's look is inspired by the Comfort Zone palette by Wet n Wild. Um, I haven't used this palette in a very long time, so I decided to play with it today. So, um, I am using all three of these colors. That one, and I want to say this set as a highlight. So, I take you guys step by step on how to do this look and um yeah i hope um you guys enjoy this thanks to all of my subscribers new and old i appreciate you and um i'm glad that you like my channel so um i think that's it i show you all everything that i use and i let you know what's on my lips at the end of the video stay tuned for pictures and um yeah if you would like to see how i got this look stay tuned Alright guys, um, let's go ahead and get started. For that look, we are using, obviously, a primer. And I'm using my Urban Decay Primer. And we're going to put that all over the lid and blend it out. And for my new watchers, or new to makeup people, um, primer helps your eyeshadow last longer. It prevents it from creasing and um, makes it more vibrant. The first color I'm using is a MAC eyeshadow and it is called Saddle and I'm using my Coastal Scents 250 brush okay and this I'm going to put into our crease because this is going to be our our crease color which is going to help help with the blending so I'll just put that all over the crease. Next I'm going into my Coastal Scents Camouflage Concealer Palette and I'm using this light concealer right here and I'm just putting that um, all over the lid to so that uh, my eyeshadow will have something to stick to and I'm just using a synthetic brush I don't know, It's it just says eyeshadow, but whatever synthetic brush that you can use uh, a cream with. Um, we're going to put that all over the lid, not going past the crease, and we're going to just blend that up and out. And then I'm going to take my crease brush and just blend out that line and like you can use the NYX jumbo pencil and milk or you can use the NYX eyeshadow base that come in a little jar um, this is just what I'm using today now I'm going to go into my wet n wild comfort zone palette and I'm taking this color right here like a pretty champagne color and I'm using my dome eyeshadow brush that I picked up at um, Dollar General and I'm just placing that color all over the lid Now I'm taking this brush that looks like this. I got this brush from Coastal Scents as well. It just does not have a name on it. So I can't tell you what it's called. And I'm going into this color right here. This bronze type color. And I am taking that in the outer V. So we'll start it there and then press it against your lid and just take the dome part the top of the brush and blend it into the crease you don't want to go too far over I don't want it too dark but just concentrate it on the outer corner of the eye and don't pull it past the middle of your eye so that's where I'm going with the color now going back with my blendy brush here and I'm taking this color that's above the color we just did, that color right there, just taking a little bit, I just dabbed it, 
and I'm using it to help blend. I'm using my same um, Joan brush and I am going out I, I just wiped it off and I'm just going into this brow color here and we're putting that in our highlight start right under the arch of the brow and just blend out and then blend with the crease now I'm going to take my black eyeliner pencil and this is the Urban Decay pencil in zero and I am just going to line the bottom line. Now I'm going to take my eyeliner brush that I got from Coastal Sense. It looks like that. It does not have a name on it again. It's just a straight point liner. And I'm going into my MAC um, Black Track eyeliner. And we're going to line our eyes. Now I'm going to go in with this um, small pencil brush. It doesn't have a name on it, but that's what it is, a small pencil brush, also from Coastal Scents. And I'm going to take my um, brow color here and put that on the bottom third. And then I'm going to go into this color here. It's a trans, I don't know, it's kind of green and red and purple, if that makes sense. But I'm taking a little bit of that and going on the bottom. All right, now I'm going to do my lashes and mascara, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, now that all our um, lashes are drying, I'm going to take my concealer, and I'm using my Amazing Concealer in Deep Golden, and I'm using my Angle Contour Elf Brush. I'm going to clean up that hot mess going on under there. So... Either you can do this to clean up, or you guys can take, um, you can do your foundation last, and then you can just skip this step. But whether I hit fallout or not, I always do this step. Now to set that concealer, I'm using my True Blend Minerals Loose Mineral Powder by CoverGirl, which is in Translucent Honey. That's what that looks like. Okay. So I'm just taking the little puff that comes in there and pressing it in. So now I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. And I'm using my Contour Buffering Brush, buffering brush by um, Samantha Chapman, which is a Real Techniques brush. Love these brushes. I'm going to take my Ebony Bronze CoverGirl um, bronzer and my Real Techniques brush. It is a contouring brush and that's what I'm about to do. Let's contour my cheeks just a little bit. The purpose of this step is to make your cheekbones stand out. So I'm contouring the hollows of my cheeks so they look like that. I'm taking my NYX blush in terracotta and I'm taking my chisel, my small chisel fluff brush that I got from Crown. I'm putting that on the apples of the cheeks and blending it up. And then I'm taking my All Over Face Glow by Ruby Kisses. All Over Glow rather. 
and it is in deep gold deep glow I'm taking that on my brush and just putting it in the highlights which is the higher part of my cheeks okay guys our look is all finished I will zoom in so you guys can see the finished so look. this is the finished eye look I love it I love it so on my lips I have um, Rimmel's airy fairy that's what that looks like just a pretty nude um, pink and um, I'm using this by Smashbox but this side is called luminary pink side is fame and this side is luminary and that's the one that I have over top and um, I show you guys everything else so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you can take something from it um, if you have this palette do a video response if you do videos I would love to see the videos so um, yeah other than that it's a, oh and um, in my lips I have on the cappuccino lip liner so um, that's it. That's all. Until the next video. Bye.